हेलो एवरी वन होप यू ऑल आर फाइन टूडे ऑन अ बिहाफ ऑफ सी सी टी वी डेस्क वी कम अप विथ अ न्यू वीडियो दिस वीडियो इज ऑल अबाउट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ऐप द एक्चुअली द ऐप नेम इज गार्डिंग विजन ऐप इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस विद यू दैट वॉट इज गार्डिंग विजन ऐप वॉट आई इट फीचर एंड फंक्शन आफ्टर दैट विल टेल यू दैट हाउ यू डाउनलोड एंड इंस्टॉल ऑर इन मोबाइल फोन एंड विल दैन टेल यू that how you configure the app to make the camera live and able to access all its feature so the basic purpose of this app is to make the camera live so keep watching till end please like share our video and please like share our video and subscribe our channel if you are a new one so basically guarding vision app is a app it is used to connect as well as control the cctv camera on your mobile phone it is also used to monitor the cameras on remote location over the internet now by using this app you are able to access live view of the camera not only the live view of the camera but you can see the multiple channel at a time you watch the recording of the cameras you control the ptz camera and you are able to zoom in and zoom out you watch the recording of the cameras you take the snapshot of the video you save the live view of the camera you record the live view of the camera and you take a backup of the recorded videos and many more now to download and and install on your mobile phone for that you should open app store and search for guarding vision when you do this you find the top of the list our app is guarding vision okay and when you see the guarding vision in front of that you find a cloud like option when you click on that option you your app start and downloading and and it will and it will be installed automatically and for some app you find that you option like get in this so if you are sta is starting it first time then you you should find the option get otherwise you should you should find option this like cloud okay so just click on this if you are getting get then also you are, you should click on the same when you click in the, on that just wait for a few second it will start downloading and it will start automatically once it is successfully installed you find the option open let all the process to be completed now it is you find the option open just click on that click allow while using app and click allow and click agree it will automatically select your region in my case my region is india so it it click it detect automatically and click okay when you do this you find this is the screen of the main screen of the app here you should find the option login and register so i don't waste time for registering because you can do by your own it is very easy now here you find the add local device and here on the top of the right corner you should you should find the option plus when you click on this you find many option like scan qr code manually adding online device add to favorite shared device so i will tell you one by one just click on the first option scan qr code when you do do this you should see that your camera is open and start scanning so basically if you are in front of the device and you want to scan the qr code so the question arises where you should find that qr code so for that you should log in your device device mean dvr nvr and ip cam when you log in your d nvr and go to the setting option and go to the network option on the on, on the network option you should find the option platform access when you do this you should enable hic connect or after that you should find the option uh, barcode over there you should, you should scan that qr code if someone send you that qr code you should also access by using uh, your gallery like this okay now just go to the second option manually adding 
when you do this you find the option ip domain and guarding vision domain when you click on the guarding vision domain you find the option it asks for a serial number basically serial number is the number which you find on the sticker of your device when you turn your dv and vr or dvr back side you find a sticker where the serial number is present even on the box you should find a serial number but you can do it you can find your serial number by using this app or by using your uh, by you log in your dvr using online on a web browser by this app also i will explain you that how you get the serial number by using this app okay so you should insert serial number here and after that it asks for username and password you should enter and uh, it, it may be it, it asks you a security code which is you find on the same screen where uh, you find the serial number so it's a very easy process now i will tell you again the, and the, again click on the manually adding and if you select ip domain then here you should insert a local ip address and here you should ask for username and password please don't be confused it give you a username and password of the device means device means the device you are adding it may be dvr nvr or ip cam okay and and the third one is online device if your dv and and nvr and your mobile device both are connected to same network then you should click on this option okay and online device and click allow when i click do this you find that my device comes online like this okay and now i should click on this and i will tell you that how to fetch the serial number from using this device here you should find the option serial number okay so basically serial number is not this full serial number read the serial number and stop on the last character here you should find the last character is c c double r c so after c you find a eight digit number so that character and eight digit number is a serial number okay like in my case so this is a serial number okay this is my local ip address and this is my gateway and this is my port number here you find that there are two types of device add adding add and add to guarding vision server if you click on the add to device to guarding vision server again it will ask you a, a serial number or it, it will ask you a code that you insert on the platform access and after that you should enter username and password and you can your connect on a guarding vision server to remotely access the device and if you want to add locally then you should click on this add like this you should enter you, your username and password please don't be confused you should enter username and password of the device device means dvr nvr whatever you want now you find the option completed this packet and here you find your device let's click on that your camera comes live now i will explain you the option one by one so if if you see the camera and and just start from the bottom right side the first option is orientation option if you click this your camera comes into landscape mode and again you quickly it will come in portrait mode after that you find the four square button basically this is the view means if you want to nine cam nine channel view or four a camera view or single camera view depend on you and after that you find the option sd and hd when you click on clear it it, it is hd and your camera become more clearer and it take less bandwidth when you click on the fluent your camera comes into sd mode and it it take less bandwidth and it is more fluent after that you find the speaker if your camera is audio enabled you are able to hear the voice of the camera and if you want to stop the live view of the camera just click on this okay now if you see if you want to search the backup of the camera you should click on the play 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 backup and here you should select the date time like this and if the recording is done then you should see in a here you see you are able to see access the recording okay for example the blue color shows that the recording of the particular time period okay when from here you should select the time for example i want to check the recording as 6 15 58 i i i check it from here so that's all for if you fast forward just click on first x and 2x 
in this way you can fast forward it and if you want to zoom just click on the zoom in this way you can check the recording and apart from that now if you want to get a screenshot just just beside the playback you find the screenshot option like this if you want to record the live view of the camera just click on this and your your camera start recording live view recording and again click on this your, your camera becomes stop your recording becomes stop and it's safe on your mobile phone and if your device is too well communicated and you want to communicate with your camera yeah just click on this you will Now I will tell you that uh, how you uh, make your device means DVR and VR online so that you can access from anywhere. So for that you should click here manual adding and after that click on guarding vision domain. When you do this you find a serial number. So basically serial number is the number which you find on the DVR or NVR or I camera box or when you find a sticker which is stick on the DVR and VR from there you should find serial number if you are not able to find by any reason then you can do it the same by login your device or by using this app also so for this app you should what you should do that uh, earlier in this video I will tell you that how you get serial number so I noted down that serial number and again click on guarding vision domain and enter that serial number okay now click save now it asked me to login without login you are not able to do this so for that it is mandatory to login okay so i i login with my username and password Now again click save, click allow, you see that my DVR comes like this, click add, when you click add it for the verification code, verification code you, you can find when you log in your DVR device and go to the platform access option over there you find a security code also. So I should enter my security code or verification code. Now I should rename my device. You should put anything which you easily remember. And click next. Your device is adding like this. Just click on that. Your camera comes online like that. Okay. And all the options I will I will tell you earlier in this video. So thanks for watching. Thank you once again. Thank you. Have a nice day.